All right, time now, 444. If you have kids that love animals, our Andrea Williams found the perfect place for them to learn and meet new friends. And Andrea's here, and we know you are a dog lover. I am, okay. so this was the perfect place. And their mission is to make a difference for animals and the people who love them, and that's exactly what the Wisconsin Humane Society has been doing since 1879. For 143 years, the Wisconsin Humane Society has provided everything from adoption to dog training. We have six locations, including a spay neuter clinic in West Dallas. And aside from our adoption program, we have wildlife rehabilitation here at the Milwaukee campus. We have um, low cost vaccine clinics that are offered to the community, a pet food bank, um, dog tra awesome dog training classes, and a lot of behavioral support. They even have special programs just for kids like Camp Critter. They are going to be involved in a ton of different program pieces, um, learning animal body language, learning about how the operation of a shelter works. They'll also be really engaged in a ton of opportunities to engage with the animals. The American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry reports that a child who learns to care for an animal and treat it kindly and patiently may get invaluable training in learning to treat people the same way. This group of kids had plenty of patience and kindness for Max the kitten and Cletus the dog. Again, don't reach out to force him to meet you. Both of these cuties are available for adoption and it's very obvious that they appreciated the extra love and attention. Seven-year-old Zakai has his favorite. Probably the dogs because some can get trained and also I'm very good at training dogs. Olivia has learned information that she'll always keep in mind whenever she's interacting with animals. They don't like to have people surrounding them like all the time. They have like they like to have breaks or like and you like to you have to be kind to them. And then if one person's nice to them, then they know that humans are nice to animals. The good news is camp is not the only programming for kids at the Wisconsin Humane Society. We serve over 5,000 kids every year through not just summer camps, but scout nights and boy scout nights, birthday parties. Um, we have a really cool program called Kids Night Out on Friday nights, and that allows parents to go out for dinner too. You can even become a youth volunteer like Jocelyn Coffey. I come here like every few days and I just help out with the kids and like when they go on little, they call it Adoption Avenue when they walk around and see animals and if they have any questions, sometimes I answer them. The Wisconsin Humane Society is obviously the perfect place for kids of all ages. Adorable and you can't I send saw me what you did like there, that. Andrea. I <laughs> you got the I perfect. saw what you did there. <laughs> 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 but you know what, Simone, I know you are a dog lover too, so it's hard not to walk through mm -hmm. here, you guys, yeah. and not want to foster or take yeah. one of those dogs, cats, or even rabbits home. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely something people can keep seems in mind like that well. sense of Seems like that sense of compassion too with the kids. It kind of just teaches them, you know, just to be soft and gentle, and, and I love that. Yeah, and teaching it at a young age and see those kids' yeah. faces light up, it's great. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. That's what it's all about, and just wanted everybody to know you can go to their website, or our website, rather, at tmj4.com for more information on the Wisconsin Humane Society's programs and services, and they can also see the photos of all those great animals that are up for adoption. We'll be right back.